Hi. So I got a little haul the other day. Um, I did try to make an unboxing for it, but I felt like I rushed through it quite a lot and I didn't really get a chance to say what I had to say in the video. So this is the way that it's going to be. So most of the albums are already open. Um, this time round I ordered from Catch Up CD and it was my first time ordering from there. I chose to order from there because I've heard people talk about it a lot, in particular Shawl 360. Um, I had a look myself and the prices are really, really good. Like, the prices for the albums as well as the shipping. So I thought that I'd just give it a try, see how it went. Um, even though at the time when I ordered they had some sort of moving going on, they were maybe moving to a different office. Uh, I thought that my order would have taken longer to process, but it didn't, and it was shipped out a couple of days after I'd ordered it, maybe two days, and it only took around one week to get here, I think, yeah, because it was shipped out on a Saturday, and it arrived the following Monday, so that's just over a week, which is really, really good. Um, I didn't expect the shipping to be that fast, so I think that... I will definitely, definitely use Catch Up CD in the future. Um, I guess the only downside is that they don't do pre-orders, so I might just stick to other sites if it's to do with pre-orders. Um, but yeah, I'm really, really pleased with them. And it's just insane how much of a price difference there was. I mean, I tend to shop around a lot when I'm going to make any order, but just to compare, K-Pop Mart and K-Pop Town, for the same order, they were like round about, I think, $85 with shipping, and this I got for $60. It's, that's just insane. That $25, that's like another two CDs, maybe even three. Probably three, without shipping, I guess, but, I mean, it really... I can't stress this enough, but see when you want to make an order, definitely shop around and see your different options. So, um, where shall I start? I'll start with this one since I want to make an unboxing of it, just to kind of get out of the way. This is a Verbal Gin and Sanchez uh, collaboration album, Yoja. Um, we have how many tracks? Seven? Seven tracks on here. Um... The combination of Verbal Gin and Sanchez is like <sighs> indescribable really. They are just so so great individually and but then together they just work so so well. Like Verbal Gin's rapping style and I guess his singing as well and then Sanchez has this like really sweet angelic voice. Is that I guess so, yeah. I just really 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 good. Really good. Um but yeah, as I said, I'm not going to talk about this a lot because I, I'm going to do an unboxing of it and I'll probably talk more about it there. And then we have this, which, I mean, I'm a bit late in getting it, I know, but... And this is Jonghyun's um, The Story Op 1, which, does that mean there's going to be a 2 or a 3 or a 4? Yes, I hope so. Um, but yeah, this is a an album which... I really, really admire it. I really do. Um, this was an album that Jong Hyun made through taking stories from the listeners of Blue Night and turning them into songs, for the most part. And I just think it's a really, really lovely idea. And the fact that he was able to do this is just... Oh, it, I feel like it's kind of like a fan service album. And I mean, it's not got like any pictures of him or anything in it. It's quite minimalist, but I think that kind of suits the concept that he's not trying to make it about himself, but more so about the the music, about us, about who it's based on. And we have nine tracks on here, and I'm not going to lie, I haven't heard all of them. I've heard most of them, but that's mostly through listening to Blue Night. So... They might some tracks might sound a bit different to me from what I remember, but in some I don't think I've heard before. <coughs> but yeah, 
really, really happy for Jonghyun about this album and I really do hope that he will come out with more volumes to this. I think it's a really great idea and I don't think I've seen any other artist be able to do it. Correct me if I'm wrong, but that just is, you know, it's very, very special. And yeah. And next we shall go to this one. Icon. Now, Icon, I have been a fan of since their win days. Originally, I was very Team B biased. And then I kind of grew to love both Team A and Team B. Or as we now know them as Winner and Icon. Um, I followed them through... I watched Bobby and Hambin on Show Me The Money. I watched Mix and Match, even though I didn't agree with the concept. But still, um, finally... The debut, or rather a half debut, I really don't understand the whole point in that, but anyway. <clears throat> when they came out with their first single released, My Type, I wasn't... Um, I wasn't all that excited about it. I guess it just wasn't what I was expecting from Icon. I thought it would have been like a really hype song, but... And at first I wasn't really feeling it, but... The more I listened to it, the more I loved it. My Type is such a great song. It honestly is. It's, I just, I can't, I don't even have words. It really is a great song. And so I felt like, okay, well, maybe, you know, after My Type, there's, it's going to get better, per se. Not better, but I guess more the style that we're used to with Icon. Um, but I have to say that I wasn't really impressed with the album, the tracks on here, like I mean, um, Welcome Back, I like Welcome Back, Rhythm Ta, at first when I heard it I was just like, what? But again, it grew on me, and then we have My Type, My Type is like my favourite from this album, definitely my favourite. Then we have Today, Today, um, not my favourite, Airplane, not my favourite either. Uh, make You Proud, I really like Make You Proud as well. So I'm like half and half when it comes to this album. And I decided just to buy it because I guess I wanted to support them. Ugh, let me just open this up. And I thought that the packaging was pretty, uh, <laughs> pretty different, I guess. It looked, the photo book looked nice. I don't understand why they have this CD on like a bit of cardboard. Why didn't they make like a, a tray kind of thing for it? Um, but yeah, and then it's got like the credits on the back, which are really, really tiny. <sighs> There's a lot of red in this album, which red is like not one of my favorite colors. And I don't think it's very easy on the eyes, but I mean, the photo book and stuff is nice. I just kind of, oh, oh, okay, Bobby, okay. Yeah, Bobby's my bias. Um, I'm getting distracted. Let's flip the pages. I decided just to get this album um, for the time being. And w obviously when they come out with the full album, I would be looking to get that too. And then I just kind of figured, okay, well then if I get the full album and I don't really feel like keeping the half album anymore, then that's fine. I can just sell it on. So that was kind of my feelings. Um, I think that a lot of people were really quite, I don't know, like, I agree it, from Icon. It wasn't what I was expecting, but I don't think it was bad either. But people made a really, really big fuss about it. I mean... Although they're not like my favourite songs, I do still like them for the most part. Yeah, so that's kind of me with Icon, this half album. I'm a little bit torn, but overall, yeah. And then, oh wait, I forgot to show you my cards. Now, when I got this album, I was just kind of hoping for anyone but Chanwoo. And the reason for that... It's simply because, it's not because I don't like Chanwoo, it's because almost every unboxing that I've seen or people on Tumblr or on the photocard forum, they all have pulled Chanwoo. 
And I was like, just please don't let me pull Chanwu because it's going to be so hard to trade. And instead, I got Donghyuk. Which, Donghyuk's cute. I would have preferred, if not even Bobby, to get like Lula uh, uh, Juno or Younghyun, but what can you do? Hopefully, if someone wants to trade me for Bobby, then that would be nice. So that's that. And lastly, I have this, which is Sea and Blues together, their second full album. And this album I absolutely love. Honestly, I was a little bit apprehensive about Sea and Blue bringing out a second album, which is, when you think about it, it's really weird. They've been in the industry for quite a while now, and this is only their second album. But um, I really, really loved First Step, and I was kind of feeling like, would it live up? to my expectations of First Step. But I have to say that it by far, um, what's the word? What am I doing with my life? Why have I forgotten an English word? Anyway, it went above my expectations. <laughs> there we go, getting back. Yeah, it went above my expectations. I really, really, really love this album. I really do. Um, I'm a bit of like an idiot though because I was going to get a signed copy from M-Wave and then when I went to go back and check it out because they took so long they had sold out and I was just like no but then again when I think about it maybe it was for the best because it was only like a a so like one member signed copy and as much as I love all the boys of course I would still always want my bias uh, Yonghwa's signature and I feel like Yonghwa is one of the most popular, probably is the most popular member and it would be really hard to try and trade for anyone else but this is what it looks like, CD and I chose this, uh, this version, this is version A because I, I just like the, the concept better I think. I didn't really like the, the pictures when they were outside in, in the woods and stuff but this is the track list right here. Honestly really really great tracks. I'm just looking at them and I'm thinking which one is my favourite but I can't choose. I think uh, Radio is definitely one of my favourites and Domino, Footsteps, mm. Cinderella, mm. Cinderella I'm so-so. I feel like Cinderella is a good song but I feel like there's other uh, songs on this album which are way better. But yeah. I'll just give you a little flick through. Yeah, see I- oh. <clears throat> This is just- I like these pictures a lot better. And not for the reason that you're thinking. It's not because they're shirtless sometimes <sighs> that's not the reason I just but yeah so this was my little haul from catch up CD and I probably still did not say everything that I wanted to say about these albums but oh well and to finish off this video we've got Sanchez singing in the background <laughs> But yeah, if you watch this, thank you for watching and yeah, bye.